This is probably the best family photo. That's my Aunt Elsie, whose kids were able to do the DNA. Paul Quinn never met his uncle, but always felt a connection to Marine Sergeant David Quinn, and always hoped one day his remains would be identified. Now through DNA, Sergeant Quinn is coming home to Temple, where generations of the Quinn family have lived since 1780. Elation. It's about the only way to describe it. I. Uh, might have gotten a little choked up about it. Sergeant David Quinn was a member of an amphibian battalion in World War II. He was killed in a battle that claimed 1,000 Marines and sailors on a Japanese island just four months after he was married. 75 years would pass before he was identified. He was a great guy who died young. His body had been lying in uh, Honolulu in the, in the Punch Bowl, the National Cemetery of the, of the Pacific and had been there since 1949, unknown. It was un un in an unidentified, unknown grave. A cousin of ours is a Marine in Hawaii and he gets to guard him the way, whole way home. Sergeant David Quinn will finally be laid to rest here in his hometown of Temple, a space in the family plot has been waiting all these years. I think it's gonna be a real, one of the days of my life I'll always remember. And I'm looking forward to the, f to the time when I can go down to the uh, cemetery and I know that his remains are there. It's gonna be wonderful, like the family's back together again. In Temple, Gene Mackin, WMUR News 9.